Are you somebody who's had the lean PCOS? Let's look at the study of PCOS looking at genetic abnormalities. Why? Because we see a significant number of women, mainly from Southeast Asia, who have got lean PCOS. So in this study, researchers looked at doing IVF with genetic screening in 132 patients of PCO and 132 patients of non-PCO patients with IVF and genetic screening. They noticed that PCO patients had a higher number of oocytes, eggs that is, mature oocytes, and blastocysts. There was no difference in the risk of genetic abnormalities between PCOS and non-PCOS. What was interesting here, that overweight PCO women had a higher rate of abnormal embryos compared to lean PCOS women, 41.4% versus 31%. In fact, non-PCOS overweight women had a similar aneuploidy rate to lean PCOS. It seems that obese PCOS women had a higher chance of having abnormal embryos. The outcomes were very similar with euploid embryos, which means the pregnancy rates were very similar. Why is it important? Because we see a mixture of lean and obese PCOS. They seem to be different. In this study, they did suggest that in obese PCOS, there were a slightly higher number of abnormal embryos. Again, it's one study where it does give an idea that PCOS is quite a varied condition.